everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Di. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Teach Me Tuesdays episode 234. And I just want to make sure I had the right number. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to um, be showing you the, um, remember we get two kits a month, two new kits a month. I already showed you the Christmas one. This is the Halloween house kit and um, right now, um, it's not available, but we're supposed to be getting more in. I'm just not sure when. So I didn't not want to do this video because it's a super cute um, little kit. This will also entice you um, when things come out new and you know you want them, grab them right away. Um, but um, I do have a couple extra ones. So I was going to um, make one ahead of time and then... Um, you know, make one for the video, but since they aren't available, I'm just going to do it live. I'm just going to put one together so that I do have the other couple um, that if you <clears throat> need them, you know, before um, we get more in, I can get them to you. Um, you know, but just just holler at me. That's USA only. If you're in Arizona, you um, do porch picker or whatever. Um, but um, I only have like a couple, but. Like I said, I didn't want to not show these because they're super cute. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So before we get started, I am going to show you, I got um, some cute cards in the mail. I want to show you those. And I also want to show you um, what was in my million dollar sales retreat box. So when I posted that on Facebook, um, I had a, a lot of um, sweet comments and I had a lot of people ask, well, what's in the box? But I didn't want to show it just then because I wanted to give the other um, demonstrators that are also going to be on the trip time to get their box. Um, I hate seeing things on the internet and it spoils your, um, you know, it's like Christmas, right? Like you, you don't want to see your Christmas present before Christmas. I remember the one time that... Um, my sister and I sneaked around the house and we saw what we were getting for Christmas and then when we saw who it came from we were like what so that's all I'll say you have to read between the lines on that one but um, so yeah um, so I wanted to wait but now I've had it for I think over a week now and the other girls should already have um, theirs by now so I'm gonna show that before we get started so um, close your eyes for a second while I get my camera adjusted I'm going to scoop myself up kind of high today um, just because I think I'm going to need that room. So I do have my glue gun off to the side, but I do want to show you these cute cards. I might have showed this one already. I can't remember, but this is from Diana, and uh, I just I just loved how that turned out. So I had it I'm still on my desk because I wasn't really sure. And then I got this sweet card from Cindy Hershey. And then she even made me um, a little mini masterpiece. I was so tickled by that. But look how cute this card is. So fun with this nice little fold. There's like a little note in there. So I don't want to open it and keep the note private. But oh my gosh, I love that so much. So thank you, Diana. Thank you, Cindy. She even stamped on the little envelope. And then this one, I almost dropped it here. This one is, oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure this came from Rhonda. It doesn't say the name. Oh my gosh, I hope I'm not wrong. I believe it is. I can't, this, um, her false social check came in here. And she didn't put her name on the bottom of it. So anyways, all right. If I'm wrong, I'm going to have to, um, apologize but I'm pretty sure all right so that are those super cute cards all right so here is the box so it's this nice big heavy box and so I already take took my thing out of it because I want to keep my box all right so inside this cute little bag I love um, purses <laughs> I you know me I love purses was this adorable little cow pack 
um, travel wallet, but it's like a crossbody. So you have your nice long strap to go around, you know, your neck or whatever. But then it came with this really, really soft, um, this other handle, which is adorable, and I think this is more like when you go out for a fancy dinner, you don't want to wear a crossbody bag. So instead you have, um, you know, this really, really soft one is what I'm assuming. Because it has a hook on both sides, so it's not like it's just um, for decoration. You know how a lot of times you'll see like a pom-pom hanging on stuff? It does have the strap um, hook on both sides. So that's why I'm like, oh, this is for fancy dinners. But it's so fun. So this is what um, the travel information was in. And then open it up. And then this, I believe, was inside of it. And this is just our itinerary, um, you know, information on that. Look, so we have all, it talks about our dinners and where we are going to be each day, our special events and all that kind of stuff. But look how cute inside here. So you've got room for a pen. Um, you know, your keys, you know, maybe hang on there. Um, but it's just adorable. It's just really, really, really cute. And they say it's RFID um, so that people can't go up next to you and, and scan your cards through your purse. So that is super fun. So, that, so this will go back in there. I just want to make sure I get it all on my calendar and then look at this really nice keychain and I just love this symbol because I know I have watched the million retreat um, pictures over the years going oh my gosh and I just love that because it's like whoop, I'm I'm gonna be there now it's still um, pinch me you know is this real and then it has a little 2024 on there so super pretty and so yeah, so that was what was in my box. So I'm just going to set this all aside. All right. And now let's get to our what you're here for. So I will probably be doing some editing of the um, video. I'm just assuming because I'm going to think this might take a while because, like I said, remember, I was going to do one ahead of time, and now I'm glad I didn't. So, because I really don't need two finished Halloween houses. All right, so inside here we've got some wire. We have that really fun little scarecrow head and some tear tape. The instructions, chipboard. Okay. All right, so we've got uh, some trees. So I'm just going to pop these out. Now, this is a really nice heft. Um, it's like kind of thick. So can you see how thick that is? So it's not just cardstock. And then that's what those bats are going to go on. That's going to go on the wire. One, two, and I'm assuming we're going to hook these up back to back, put the wire in between so that you don't see the wire. Yes, that's what it says. All right, but look how cute these are, right? Aren't they a fun shape? So if you are watching the um, video premiere, I'm in the chat room, so make sure you holler at me. And um, like I said at the beginning of the video, these aren't available um, while the video is live, but keep checking back. Um, we're supposed to be getting more in, but it might take a month or more, um, but just keep watching. But again, this is why I always stress <laughs> that um, when you see something, especially the, the monthly kits, because they are usually kind of, um, what would you call that, time-oriented? Um, not always, but um, they're usually seasonally themed. So, you, you know, you kind of want, you know, want to get them. So this is super fun. So I already know how the tree's going to go. So see, we have, I'm going to pop this out. And I'm going to hang on to this black... Um, piece that I'm popping them out of just in case 
um, I want to use it for something, maybe reinforce something, because um, it's got that nice heft to it. And these are late, I think this is called laser, laser cut, I think that's what it's called. Alright, so we have this tree. Okay, so I'm just going to set this aside. I've got everything pulled out of it. All right, so we have this tree, and then we have this tree. So see, like, um, you have, like, a slice here and a slice here. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this tree up into this tree using that slice, and then it will stand up. See, now your tree is going to stand up. You see that? So I know this video is going to be a little hard because I'm, I'm up from the side, or up from a top, and, you know, but you can kind of see what I mean. All right, so I'm just going to set that aside. Um, then we have a cute little fence. I try, I thought, you know what, maybe I can put my cell phone off to the side and tape, but that would take... Um, a lot of like editing smarts and I'm not that good in regards to that so I thought you know what I'm just going to um, so I'm gonna fold that along there so now you've got this cute little fence um, I'm just going to do it from the top and I'll just keep showing you from this side um, because I wouldn't know how to put two videos together, right, without a bunch of repeats, so, yeah. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm not a um, movie editor. <laughs> it's enough that I can edit um, these videos as it is. All right, so now we have these cute little, um, we have a ghost, and I'm not going to pop these out till I need them because I don't want to lose them. Same with these. These are the window, um, window pieces. Uh, and then, so these are the house, um, which I'm gonna call it shutters, and some more pieces from the house. And then this is the house. So look how fun. So this is like a, like a cardboard, kind of a thick cardboard. So here's your pieces. your roof, your sides, and then we've got um, dimensional. So if you didn't know, if you are new, we have mama dimensionals, which I call them, and so they're white. Then we have baby dimensionals, and they're smaller, and we also have black dimensionals, and they, so we even got some of the black dimensionals. All right, so let's see. Tear tape. Um, windows okay so I need the windows so let's so these are the side okay so let me get my house here we go so this is the first piece I want and we're gonna pop these out now don't throw anything away till because I already have an idea what to do with some of these pieces Alright, so we're just going to pop these out, so just kind of hang on to stuff because these are super cute, so I'm just pop, pop, popping those out, okay, now we're going to use tear tape. All right, so we've got shutters. So that's what these shutters are for. And I'm probably going to use my green tip glue more than the tear tape. And I also have my hot glue gun off to the side. All right. So, so it has the instructions. 
Oh, so they're using the black glue dots to put the shutters on. Okay. <clears throat> That's totally, totally fine. Alright. So what I do want to do is I want to, before I do this, because I want to get some of this stuff off my desk, and I kind of want to get this done because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut um, I want to cut this apart so I have this that I'm looking at this off to the side. Because I want to be able to see this, you know, because I'm a visual person, so I kind of want to see this off to the side, like, okay, this goes like this, this goes like that. All right. Um, so let's just get our bats going. And they say they're using... Um, probably the, um, what you call it, the little glue dots, right. but I'm, I think I'm going to use my, because see we have these, so we have our bats, so what you're going to do, you're going to hook your bat, so you're going to put this in the bat, And then you want to put another bat like this so that you're not going to see the back of the um, of the wire. Okay. So I'm just going to use some hot glue. I'm just going to put a little hot glue instead of um, just to hold my wire in there. I think that might be a little more secure. And then we'll put our our other little bat on there. Yeah. Okay. Glue dots, glue dots, where are my glue dots? There we go. Because they give you those, um, that little package of them, but I'm not a big fan of, of these, so I'm going to use my regular glue dots. And I want my, my um, black. Alright, so I'm just going to use my pick tool, and I'm going to fold over that glue dot just so that it makes it a little bit fatter because we have to um, it has to be taller than that stick right that wire so I'm just going to fold it over and lay it on there and then let's see how good that is when I lay it on I think that looks good and we have our little bat. And I just kind of, um, I've made my wings, I don't want to line them up perfectly. So see how I've kind of lined it up a little off so it gives the bat a little bit of dimension. See that? He's got a little dimension and thickness by doing that. And then what we are going to do, we are going to um, bend this, you know, but I'm going to wait to do that. Now I just want to make sure I have my bats in a row. Is that what you would call that? All right. Just make sure you know which one is going on top of which before you get started so you don't end up with, you know, two wrong bats. Two wrong bats don't make a right, right? Okay, there we go. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just a little hot glue and lay my wire in there. And you could probably even hot glue instead of glue dot. Let me try this one with the hot glue. I should have my silicone my silicone mat out. Alright, so let's see here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm trying to make the body be pretty well lined up, but then I'm just gonna offset 
the wing just a tad. And I think it looks cute. Okay, that number two, and then that number three. So I'm just gonna use my hot glue. Oops, I need to do this. I need to do the um, stick. Okay. body semi together and then just kind of offset the wing a little bit super cute all right so there we have our three bats and what's going to be fun is i think i'm going to go and i'm going to add some um glue stick you know how that you have that string i think i'm going to try to add if i don't forget um some of that all right so let's get back to our building so we have the three glass so these are just our yellow windows I mean they're gonna go on the inside but so they're gonna go on the inside so if you're going to do anything to them, if you're going to stamp on them, or if you're going to, um, you know, we have so many cute stamps, right? You could add, um, you know, a little face or something. Um, make sure you do that, like, now on your, um, on your vellum. All right, and there's a definite back and front. You'll see this. You can see the difference. So one is way yellow than the other one. So just make sure you're... You have the, the right size. All right, so I'm going to flip this over. And we're going to put the window. So they have us using tear tape on there. But you know me, I'm going to use my green tip glue. Just because I can. All right, so I'm just going to put the green tip glue around. And then I'm going to lay my, my window on with that darker yellow facing out. So it doesn't matter how, how they are in here because you're not going to see that. So see, now I have that really cool window. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. Green tip glue. And then somebody asked me the other day where I get the glue. And then this is just basically Tombow. We have it in the catalog. And then I have just put it in these little bottles. And I do have the little bottles. If you go to um, my blog on the top, it'll say My Favorite Things. And then that's where you'll find um, a link um, to get the little bottles. And I just put, look how cute. I just put the... Um, I just put the um, the glue in them. All right. Okay, I'm looking, looking, looking. All right. One more. Now I didn't put any on here. You could, then it would hold the center, but I don't want to get overzealous with my glue and have it be too messy. So I'm just doing the edges. Plus, um, if you decide that you know maybe you want to put something in there, um, you know that'll give you a little um, spot where you, maybe you could tuck something in there. All right. So there we have our decorated window. So I have those um, the little LED candles, which I think I'm going to add to. All right, this is the roof. All right, then we have the front of the house. So let's open that up. We have um, 
this really cute little chandelier. Isn't that neat? And that's going to go up top. So again, just watch your, your yellow. But there's a darker yellow and a lighter yellow. Okay. And again, just, you know, maybe hang on to your scrap stuff before you throw it away. Maybe you'll find a use for, um, you know, that yellow somewhere. All right, so I just want my chandelier. Just kind of, you can see it through the window, right? Okay. And then I'm putting the glue again, my green chip glue. And I'm putting it on here instead of the vellum because I don't want to put it in the wrong spot on the vellum. All right. So we've got our window, or our beautiful chandelier in our window. Okay. And then. So this kind of reminds me almost like a church, too, right? These these on um, the style of windows so you could do whatever you want with this house you could flip it inside out and then you would have this pattern and you could um, spray paint it you could stamp on it you could do whatever you want and then change the house to be um, you know a different a different season maybe all right use your imagination Okay, again, make sure you've got that dark yellow facing out. Okay. And then, so this one, oh, I thought this was a piece of um, tissue, but it's just already stamped on there, or already, the, already on there. Okay, so let's see here. We want to definitely get our house put together now. Okay, so we're going to fold these in. So kind of get all your scores going. You know me and my scores. It's best to get them going. Look how cute it already starting to look. And okay. now does this have shutters? I think everything has shutters. Yep, so let's get our shutters on so I can do it while it's flat. Let's do it while it's flat. And I've already lost pieces. Here we go. Shutter. And then okay, so shutter. So the shutters go oops, wait, wait, the other way. The shutters go like this. Okay. And we have our cute little door with the little knocker. So I'm definitely going to, um, you know, kind of get the house decorated before I glue it together. So if you were going to give this as a gift when they become available, um, you could get it all the way decorated even and then just mail it like, um, mail it not put together and then that person could hot glue it together and you could just write like add hot glue here you know or whatever so that the person knew like where you know where to glue things all right so we also have this cute little banner we've got some pumpkins All right. 
so we have these bigger ones so see these are a little bit bigger so these ones are gonna go up here so that's why I'm not gluing anything yet till I know exactly what I'm doing okay but all the other ones are the same size Okay, so see, that's that smaller window up there. And you can make this be like as fun as you want. Like I think it might be fun to to put like um like a shutter kind of kind of hanging, right? Like it's it's kind of um hanging off off the house. You could have it be you know, as fun as you want. Have it be kind of quirky. All right, and these are put on with dimensionals, those black dimensionals that, that we got. So I'm going to stick those on there. I'm just getting them all popped out. I'm going to flip them over. get all my dimensionals on and then we'll put them on the house so just be careful when you're popping them out you know you don't want to because this part is um, cardstock it's not thick like um, the trees or the fence wait on those okay so now I'm gonna put those dimensionals oh we also want our kitty our pumpkins Our cute little spider. A bone. Oh, the bone. I was like, what is a bone for? Because I didn't see a dog. And the bone is the um, the door handle. That is so hilarious. All right. And then this is the house top decoration. So I'll set it over there by the bats. Okay. So all of these things seem to have the um this is going to go the banner is going to go underneath one of the roofs all right so these all have um those black dimensionals <clears throat> so i'm going to get these on all my dimensionals on and you can see I pulled out of my stash um, the little small ones so these are the ones that we have in the catalog these are the ones that came with the kit these are the mama size so I'm going to use them for some things but I I found it a little easier to use my um, my small ones that we have in the catalog for my shutters sure that you're putting the, the thing to the side because I'm just tempted to go the other way. This visually. my door all right and we 
have our little pumpkins. A little pumpkin beside the door. And I'm going to stack two so that my pumpkin is a little taller than the door. So I can kind of have it go like over the door. Because we're not, it's not like we're really going to open this door. There we go. And then we have our cute little kitty. And so see, it might be cute. You could have put the kitty, like, looking out the window or something. All right. So I want to make sure I'm putting, because we've got, this house goes like this, right? So I've got my, I just don't want to, um, let's see, we've got, the house goes like that, like this. So see how the house has like, like this comes out. So it goes like this. So I don't want to put my cat in the wrong spot because if I put him here where I might have done then he's in the wrong spot. So we'll put our little kitty right there. Okay. And then this comes forward. Let's put my, whatever these are, my shutters on the back. But this is so cute. And even if, um, you know, even if we don't happen to get these, in time for Halloween, I still would not, I would still grab them, right? Because they're a great cost and you can do them next year, right? It's not like it's candy and it's gonna go bad. Um, it's just paper, so you can make it next year. Like I said, you can switch it out and um, turn it the other way you could even paint this, right? You could paint on that if you want to change change the color. Okay. Again, I want to make sure I'm putting these not not the wrong way. But I kept them all straight. Remember I said I was going to do a crooked one? Because that would that kind of would look cute, right? Where it was kind of like Argh! But I'm just going to do this one right. I don't want to lose my spider. Okay, I need to get a drink of water. Hold on a second. But look how fun it is already. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so we also have Okay, so we have this. And then we have these side pieces as well in our roof. So the side pieces, I just don't want to not, I just don't want to fold them the wrong direction. Where's my finished house? Okay. So 
So these go like this. And these are going to go on this side. So this is the back. So just kind of leave it on the table when you fold it. So you don't by accident. Like I almost folded my window. So I'm just kind of dry fitting so I know what I'm doing here. Because we're going to glue the house together before we put the roof on. Okay. So we've got a side piece. Well, that sounds kind of rude, doesn't it? All right, so we have this, and that's going to go on here. So this little flappy is going to go on the inside of this and I want to keep it let me get my 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 uh, spider on I'm afraid I'm going to lose him okay, I'm just going to kind of put him at an angle there all right and we cannot forget about our handle of our house as well so they have it on that side. Is that right, left, right? Okay. But I'm going to put this on with um, green tip glue because that is awful small and I don't want it to get tore. Like, because I'm going to put this away and, you know, bring it out you know every year or whatever so I would just assume like my little handle maybe not have some dimension to it so it doesn't catch so I put some green tip glue on it and that's how I'm going to glue it on my my door instead there Kind of let it sit. All right, so we're going to bring this over and we're just bending that and we're just give it a bend and then we're putting our house like this, right? So I'm going to do it while it's standing up so that I don't tweak it and make it not want to glue right. So I'm just going to turn it on its side. And then I'm just going to lay lay that on there, and I'm just going to use the hot glue. So I'll bring this over, and then I'll just bring my edges together so that my edges are good. So now I know it's it's flush with the table. like that. Okay, so that's one side. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bend this really good. Fold this up. And then I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to bring this over and marry those two. see it taking shape and we have our back of our house the same thing I'm gonna put my glue on here and then bring those together again at keeping it on the table um, just because I don't want it to um, 
I'm just afraid if I put it together, like, I would put normal things together. <laughs> you know, like when I put things together that have, um, that fold, because I don't think this is, this is not going to fold, right, when it's done. So I don't think I have to be so worried about how it lays when it folds. You know, because usually I go, oh, let's put it together like this. You know, when I put boxes together, because then I'm going to fold it, you know, down the road. But once you put that house on, let roof on, um, unless you put the roof on with, with uh, Velcro, but I'm just going to put it together with the hot glue. And we're just going to put it on a shelf in the other room when it's not Halloween. All right, so let's stop blabbing and get back to the, to the thing. All right, so I'll put my glue on. And then I'll do the same thing. I'm going to marry these two together. And then we'll bring these two together. It already looks so cute because I can see like the lights shining through just from my lights on my desk. So it's it's very, very cool. Alright, so again, glue. And then bring these together. Okay. You can see how cute the house is. Now I'm assuming these are going to kind of fold in. Have our roof. So this is going to be here. So this is going to hold, this is going to make this stay inside there. Remember, I folded this. So this is going to make it stay in there. Okay. Then we have. a little glue just on there just kind of hold that just want to hold that while I'm messing around with the rest of the roof It didn't necessarily tack right, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to squish that down there on that house, on that roof line. That. And that keeps it there. letting it dry or like I can feel the heat from the from the glue all right and then I'm going to turn it like this and just kind of see if I could see that I glued it really good except on the front so now I'm just going to stick some glue up underneath there
see I'm just kind of letting it letting it sit a little bit and cool down cool down baby so just inside see you can get inside your box so you can make sure you you know you've got all your your glue looks good so see it looks really good in there see looks really good and what's nice about it being open so I'm just a little there's like had to use a little bit more glue underneath that one so I can get in there with my glue gun and just kind of tack it down a little bit because it is just cardboard right all right so that looks good so now for the fun part so see I like all these little strings so I'm gonna put some more see the little um, the glue gun strings I'm gonna add some of those purposely all right so so this is the part that I want to make sure I'm doing this one right because this I can see it on my picture so this goes on here like this so this is like the um, the ease the eve or whatever I'm, I'm coming down too far but all right so this is the eve where's my finish <laughs> where's my oh, you're then enjoying this or you're not all right so that goes there I just don't want it to come out too far so when you're gluing it, just make sure that you you keep it here, right? Like when you're gluing it, just make it stay along here. You don't want to glue it too far out or like if you come down too far, see it falls on the house too much. So you want to make sure it stays within the house line. All right. So they want those bats to be in here so we're going to put the bats in here where are my bats here's my bats so they want to take your take the bats and we're going to put them in here so when we fold this down the bats are going to be like in the house like in the house um you know in the house all right so what I'm going to do is I want to um, bend these so I'm just going to take you know just a pen and I'm just going to kind of bend these around just to give them like a cute little bendy bend so that they look like they're you know they're flying You still want to give yourself some room um, to glue, though, right? So I'm kind of coming up towards them and then just bending that around. And then we can fiddle fart with them a little more once we get them on the roof. All right. So we're just going to... So I want to glue... You know, we're going to glue this together. Right? We're going to glue this together. And that's where the that's where the bats are going to go. So they're going to go in there. So we got um, we need three hands. So I'm going to put my glue. I'm going to put my bat. And I'm going to bring that together. So now my bat is contained inside my roof. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. But now we have two bats. 
So again, hot glue. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the side there. So it gives me a little bit of time to work with my bat. And then I'll go and I'll put some more. Because I still have this side open. That will give me time to stick my other bat in there. Oh, I love all those strings. I'm totally making more glue dot or um, hot glue gun strings. All right, now let's bring this back over. And when we glue it again, remember you want to keep it within the line of the house, so it's going to lay along the roof line. So it's laying it along the roof line but we also want to make sure it stays within the house line on the front. All right. And where am I going to put my glue? I'm going to put my glue... I believe I would put my glue there. Yeah. Because it doesn't have to be glued here. All right, so I'm going to put my glue on my house. down. You just have to be quick, right? You just have to be quick. So that's why I'm kind of like dry fitting it first, just so I visually know, okay, this goes here, this goes there. Um, just so I'm not doing it wrong. All right, then you have this little fun piece here, which goes on like so I need to move my bat a little bit okay so this goes on here like that I'm just gonna move my bat so this goes on here like this so cute the the roof of my house let me bring this lays lays down so it just kind of lays on there like that but they have these um, little score lines see that so what we're going to do is we're going to lay it down don't don't bend these holding it up lay it down so now when you glue this on here these will stand up so see now visually, <coughs> these are standing up. So smart. Oh my gosh. Who designed this? All right. So this goes on with um, tear tape, but I'm just going to use my hot glue gun since I've got it out. Now remember, it's just cardstock. So know where you're laying it before you put it on there. So fun. I don't know why I keep pulling the strings because I like the strings. All right. So that's on there. We've got our cute little bats flying around. Bring this guy a little forward. Cute. All right, what else do we have? We have our trees. All right, so this is why I said don't throw away. So I'm going to leave all of these um, strings. So I'm going to bring this chipboard over. So this is the chipboard that came with it. So it's a great little size. All right, so what I'm going to do is we have, I'm going to lay this down. So you can see the front of my cute little house. So we have a few more pieces. We have our banner. 
and that is simply going to hang under the eaves so they just give you a score so it's just going to hang under the eaves there so I'm just going to stick that up underneath there okay so a little banner we have um, a cobweb and it's got a little score as well and then that's going to go up underneath here so just give it a score because it already has that score line remember I'm going to bring it down here and and bend it so I don't mess up my cobweb and they have it put on with those black dimensionals so I'm going to use my glue gun I'm going to put it back a little ways. I'm not going to put it right on the edge. I'm going to put it back a little ways so I don't see that edge. So it's just kind of up against the house more. I'm going to put it back back in there. Put my pick tool here. So it's kind of back in there. So see, you can kind of see it. It's hard to see with the thing, but all right. So it's up underneath my eave. All right. And I'm going to put a little glue dot, or I mean a little glue, so it stays on the house. There, so it won't pop up. All right, <clears throat> then we have where is my little, here it is. So we have this fun, so we have this um, little skeleton, little skull, but look how cute. We have a little skull, like a little plastic skull that is going to go over top of there. And it's already got some adhesive on it, but I'm going to put... I'm still going to put some glue just so he's good and secure on my house. And he goes right over top of that. And he's even got little diamonds in his eyes. So cute. All right. Now, this is why I said to hang on to these little brick kind of things because I want to add them to my house because I think it would look cute if I added, added them here and there to the house so they almost looked like like bricks you know um, to give my house a little bit more um, 3d dimension so I'm gonna put little bits of glue here and there it's not really doing anything but I want the strings to come out So I'm trying to make glue strings, all right, like cobwebs. All right, so let's turn this on its side. I'm going to put some along in here and just kind of let them hang. Oh, that's nice and hot. All right, so we've got, I'm just going to put my hand in here. So see if I put some of these bricks. So see, I went a little crazy with my hot glue right there. So don't go that crazy. But anyways, so I'm just going to put a little glue. And then I'm going to take these little bricks. Because we have all of these little pieces, right? And I just want to put... And it's just going to add a little... Um, 
dimension to the house. So see, it just gives it, you know, so it looks like it has some bricks on it. And then we even have some that have, you know, that shape from the window. So we can even put some of those on there too. They don't have to be perfect. Remember, it's a haunted house. So if they're a little askew, even better. All right, so let's turn. We'll put a few over here too. And I'm just using my hot glue just because it's handy and easy. If you want to use glue dots, you can use glue dots. If you want to use dimensionals, you could use dimensionals. But doesn't this look cute? Just adding those little pieces of the stuff that you're going to throw away. Let's do our front. I don't want to not have any for my front. So look how many of these cobwebs I'm getting. All right. Just from my hot glue being everywhere. So my hands are covered in it too. you're supposed to when you use a hot glue gun you're supposed to have a ice water by you and I didn't so I can feel that burn going to be a nice little blister all right so that looks good one two three four and I want to put a couple over here And I still have some of those, um, whatchamacallit, the little half circle -y guys. Add a little something. And maybe a little ovaly one over here. And I've seen people use these as um, they put them on the ground. They've used them as. Um, whatchamacallit, Bro rocks, but I was like, oh, they look so cute as little bricks. So that's what I decided to do with mine. But like I said, don't throw anything away till you're all the way done. All right, so I think I've used all the pieces. I still have, oh, I still have, you know, some of the, the heavier duty stuff so we could, um, do the same thing. Um, I'm going to put some more cobwebs. So I'm just kind of sticking that hot glue up underneath. So it doesn't hurt that it's also gluing. If 
but I just kind of want some hot glue. Oh, I also have, have some things from the past. <laughs> and I've got googly eyes. So googly eyes might be fun, right? You could add some like little googly eyes anywhere. But we had these charms forever ago. And they're like little spiders. So I might add a spider or two on there. It has a little um, charm thing that I think I could easily take off of there. Right? I'm going to take that charm off. There we go. Because I think it'd be cute. Because we have that little um, silver, like we have the little silver knocker. So how fun would it be to have like a little spider crawling on my house? So I'm just going to put a little glue and pop that spider there so look how fun that is like I could probably I don't know if I could snip off the whole thing you know that I glued them on there I think I need um, metal I don't know what it did it's probably not good for my scissors but so let's put another little spider so that makes even more fun with the with the cobwebs so let's put another little spider right there and I might if I can pull this one off I'm not going to even mess with that one all right but look how fun just having those little cobwebs and stuff but I also have these um googly eyes so we have a fence so it came with a little fence so we can put a little fence around but what do you think we could put, we could even hang a little spider in the tree. But I was wondering, what would the tree look like if we put eyeballs on the tree? Let's see. I don't know what that would look like. What would that look like with eyeballs on the tree? Right? Just like the trees watching you. The, the trees have eyes. Let's see. So I want to lay them down so that I, because I don't think I want them side by side. Like I don't think I want it as, you know, a person's looking. You know, I just want it to look like the tree has eyes. So let's just see. Little glue dot. Eyeball. I think it looks hilarious. Glue dot, I mean, glue gun. Eyeball. <laughs> I think it looks so cute. Oh my gosh. So we had these little googly eyes forever, but I'm sure you have googly eyes in your stamp studio somewhere. Or you might even have some of these from before. Let's see, two more. I don't want to have it to be too many eyeballs. And then I stopped to put my little ghost on. Longest video ever. Well, unless you do my class and my mail, because some of those go long, because we have quite a few projects, but. Eyeball. All right, so there's our eyeball tree. So can you see our eyeball tree with the cobwebs hanging on it? Love it. All right, so there we have our eyeball tree. All right, I'll put these away. And then my ghost. So here's my little ghost, and he is on this window. And they 
didn't really mention how they glued him. But he is vellum. So vellum's kind of tricky when you glue vellum. So I'm just going to use a green tip glue. And I'm going to put the green tip glue on his eyes, like his mouth. I'm just going to put a little green tip glue on his mouth and his eyes. And I'm just going to stick them on there because that will dry clear and it won't be as noticeable if I put um, like glue dots or something like that. So it just makes it a little less um, less noticeable. All right, but I think I think I am done with my house. So I will take a picture of it um, so you can see it a little better. But I it is super fun. Hopefully, um, you know you'll grab one or two or three when they when they become available. Um, like I can see, there's a few places that I could probably um, you know maybe add a little hot glue. Like I probably could put some right here and squeeze that up and that will give me another um, cobweb <laughs> so I love I love doing that um, you can um, you know fiddle fart around with with the glue um, like if you want more um, I don't think I need this anymore we can just kind of you know put put hot glue and then just kind of let you know, let the let the hot glue kind of come off the off the gun onto you know the house. So I'm adding more. Some is it, it's kind of wasteful in a way, but it does look super cute to have all those cobwebs you know on the house. I love the cute little um, the cute little. Um, the little spider I got he looks adorable so see I'm just kind of letting the the um, glue kind of fall on the house so now we have like, cobwebs on there so I'm just let it go and then just let it kind of fall on the house anyways so yeah you could you could do cobwebs for days but I just kind of ha I like to come up a little bit so they're not super thick looking I just want it to be cobwebby all right so let me um, get that mess or whatever so I might add um, I have more more um, spiders so I might add some more um, spiders to it like maybe at least one more so I have like three um, maybe on on the front of that. so I'm gonna stick these tea lights and you can um, find these um, I have them under my favorite things on my blog so I got these from Amazon and I'm gonna stick a few of these tea lights in my house because you can just lay it's cardboard right so you can just lay it um right over top and in fact i might even um put something kind of tall um because i'm going to play around but i might put something tall um it just depends how it, it shows but what i love about these are um these i have a timer so as soon as you turn them on then it, they remember and they go for I believe it's eight hours and then they turn off and then they go back on um, the same time every day so I'm just gonna you know put this over top and what's cool is they flicker so um, I don't know if, if you'll be able to see see that or not but um, I'll, I'll take a video um, I think it's it's gonna be hard for you to see that 
Um, let me turn my light out here. See if I can move the camera. Let's see. <laughs> um, oh, I know. The chipboard. We'll put it on the chipboard that it came with. I've just set it on the top of the chipboard. I've turned my lights out. Can you see? I'm going to go turn, turn the studio light out as well. So hopefully that's not too dark, right? Because I just want you to be able to see. So look how cool that is. And you can see those lights flicker. So it gives you, and I put two in there. But I love how that turned out. Look at my cute shoes. Oh my gosh, I fell in love with these shoes. I, not only do I love stamps and jewelry and purses but i also have a problem with shoes all right so let me say see you later alligator i don't know what i just um knocked off my behind my chair so anyways but this is so cute i know this was a really long video but um so hopefully like i said when these become available again grab them grab them grab them um but i do have a couple available if if you um need it right away i'd have to figure out how to um mail them to you. You can see this is where I, I got this, the spiders from my back there and all my stuff. Um, so anyways, I will see you Friday for my dyes shorts. That'll be three o'clock Arizona time, same time, same place. Don't forget that the 20th today is the last day for early registration for fall social. I forgot to mention that. So, um, I'm over half full, so I don't have a whole lot of, um, room left and this is virtual um you can read read more about it on my blog over here or um, reach out to me usa only and but like i said the 20th is the end of the early registration and then if i still have the seats available you can register um through the 30th but you'll pay five dollars more so um it just makes sense to um or is it five or ten i'm not even sure it's it's more but you're going to save some <laughs> so if you register earlier all right so i'm going to stop blabbing i'll get this finished take some pictures of it and i'll stick it there at the end of the video so thanks for um spending some time with me today on this very long video and um i'll see you friday all right bye for now <laughs>